Well, hello, this is Kelly, and I am the Mathematic Plumber. And in this video, we're going to talk about venting hierarchy, specifically venting for plumbing and drainage systems. All code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. So what I mean by venting hierarchy is there's many vents, and some vents outrank other vents. I want to give you some sort of structure that you can look at to see how that all fits together. So I've taken all the vents and I've broken it down into major vents and minor vents. Now this is not something that's reflected in the codebook. It does not reference major or minor vents. This is a made up name just for organization purposes. Now in this video, I'm not gonna go into any details as to what these actually look like and what makes them the different vent names. I've already made videos on every single one of them except for Fresh Air Inlet, which is a fourth year topic that comes down in minor vents there. The first thing I want to do is look at minor vents in respect to developed length. Now, what is developed length? That is a measurement of the vent pipe that's used for sizing the vent. However, only three of these vents actually require developed length and all the rest do not need it to size the vent. The only three minor vents that require developed length are the branch vent, the circuit vent, and the continuous vent. Now it's important to note that anything from the individual vent up to including the circuit vent are the lowest ranking vents. None of them outrank each other until we get to the branch vent. The branch vent is actually a rank above all the rest of them. Now the reason that I'm focusing on this is that if any two minor vents join together, the resulting vent pipe will be called a branch vent. And that includes if I have two branch vents joining together, it still will be a resulting branch vent. Well, let's move on to the major vents. First of all, let's note that all three major vents require a developed length to size it. The stack vent and the vent stack are of equal ranking, even though they look totally different. There's only one vent that has a greater rank than them. That's the vent header. Now, if we take any two of these major vents and join them together, the resulting vent will always be a vent header, which happens to be the most highest ranking vent in a plumbing system. Now it's important to note that if any minor vent joins into a major vent, the minor vent will end and the major vent will keep its name. So let's illustrate this one. In this picture, I have a continuous vent coming off the bathroom group here, and it comes up and joins into a stack vent. The resulting vent pipe that goes up will still be a stack vent and that continuous vent will end right here. So for every single major and minor vent that we come across, there are a number of different code requirements and different sizing tables that we may need to use to size them. Now, because of all these nuances, I decided to make this table that outlines the year of schooling that you'll first encounter the vent, different code clauses that you'll need to size it, different code tables that you'll need to size it, and whether or not there's developed length for it. And because I'm feeling extra peachy, I'm going to make this table available for download in the description below. Now included with this is the seven rules of venting that I wrote. Rule number one, all vents must conform to table 2571. Rule number two, when any two minor vents join together, the resulting vent shall be a branch vent. Rule number three, the branch vent is the highest ranking minor vent. Rule number four, when any two major vents join together, the resulting vent shall be a vent header. Rule number five, the vent header is the highest ranking vent. Rule number six, when any minor vent joins into a major vent, the minor vent will end and the major vent will keep its name. And rule number seven, branch vents and vent headers are the only vents that have a developed length that start at the most distant soil or waste pipe connection. Now, if you're looking to go more in depth with the code on any of these vent pipes, I recommend you subscribe to my channel and go look through. I have a video series for each and every one of these vent pipes with exception to the fresh air inlet. Well, that brings us to the end of this video and I hope that helped you out lots and I hope you have a lovely day.